Nope. All right, I'm shooting. There's one tower. Or statue. I'm gonna fucking another call out. So I'm gonna try. Don't even bother calling out, bro. Just shoot. I bet. It's a pub. You don't take it that serious. I. That is the appropriate response. Oh, I get pissed on. Oh! Today, let's take a look at the pro class setup for the TAC 56 Assault Rifle in Modern Warfare 2. Specifically, we're going to be looking at LA Thieves player Octane's build of it. It took us a few days to get here because for pubs, I had to level up two other guns to get the attachments I needed for this thing, MW2 stuff. Before we do that, though, it would mean a lot to me if you guys would consider liking and subscribing, but let's take a look at the setup. Real quick, we're going to take a look at the rest of the class I was using. Now note, this is not Octane's entire class, just the TAC-56 is his. So for my secondary, I have the X-12. I'm trying to level it up, so there are no attachments on this thing yet. My tactical is a stun grenade. My lethal is a Simtex perk package. One is double time, battle hard, and fast hands, quick fix. And then my field upgrades are dead silence and munitions box. Now note, in the video I'm going to show you guys, I had on the wrong grenade, and then I had on the wrong field upgrade, but this is what I would have used had I had brain activity and realized. So coming over to the TAC-56. We're gonna start with the rear grip and work our way to the front of the gun. Our boy Sam LaRue uses the demo clean shot grip for his rear grip. It is sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed with a hit to our recoil control, but it is a little hit. And honestly, the attachments on the front of the gun are gonna really balance out that recoil. For the stock, he is using the TV X-Line Pro stock, a tactical stock from Tactique Verte engineered for superior aim down sight speed. This is giving an overall buff to our movement with crouch speed, sprint speed, and aim down down sight speed again with another little hit to our recoil control coming up to the underbarrel this is one of the attachment slots where he gave us options for what we could use but he has ultimately decided on the fss shark fin 90 as i've said many times it's a running meme on the channel the shark fin 90 underbarrel attachment is the best attachment in the game it's the one i recommend probably the most for any build just because there's no downside to using it there's no downside the plus is aiming idle stability the other attachment he said you could use is the commando foregrip but we're ultimately going with the shark fin 90 and heading up to the barrel, he said that the 17.5 inch Tundra Pro barrel is like the only barrel pros even consider running. I don't know if that's because the other barrel is not allowed or if it's just because this is a damage range barrel and the downside to the other barrel is minus damage range. That might be it. Plus damage range, plus hip fire accuracy, plus bullet velocity, minus to aim down sight speed, and minus to hip recoil control. And then finally coming to the muzzle device, I have on the Saken Tread 40, a heavy compensator that helps keep your muzzle on target for follow-up shots plus to vertical recoil control and plus to horizontal recoil control to hit to aim down sight speed and aiming stability now i went backwards today because i wanted to end with the muzzle because this is the one i wanted to talk about the most he also said you could use the ftac castle compensator but honestly the saken tread 40 is just a better version of this but the biggest issue here is that the attachment for the muzzle slot that octane actually uses is the fjx fulcrum pro which i do not have access to because i do not even have the m13 so if you plan on using this gun in pubs and you want to use the exact build that Octane uses, you're going to need the FJX Fulcrum Pro. If you're in a private match, you have this thing, don't worry about it. And I'm just using the muzzle he was using because I don't have the muzzle he's currently using. I think that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But just know that the actual muzzle he does use is the FJX Fulcrum Pro. But if we're being completely objective here, just looking at the graph over here, if we go to the FJX Fulcrum and then go to the Saken Tread 40, their stats look basically identical. Cool. So I'm not really sure if it's a recoil pattern thing or if there's just something I don't know about this attachment that isn't showing up in the stats. So one final look at Octane's pro version of the TAC-56 assault rifle, again, with the exception of the muzzle attachment. So I hope you guys enjoy the class setup. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. If you guys do, please consider leaving a like and subscribing down below. Like I mentioned earlier, have a great day after the video ends. I'll talk to you in the next video. Boys and girls, a pizza. Sprint in the bathroom and pre-fire the door. All behind you. Oh, our teammates got your trade. Wow. And then I got pissed on by an LA thief skin.
I was out of fucking ammo. Uh. <laughs> wow, look at that. The LA Thieves skin is shooting my body again. Never heard that joke before. Y'all are so fucking mad about shit for no reason. Why are you? What? Why are they all there? That doesn't make any sense. Yep, yeah, that's that's modern warfare too. If you think logically, you're just gonna get mad. True. Hashtag not my modern warfare too. Fortunately, it is. That's nah, a good hashtag. <laughs> you should go blow that up, bro. <laughs> Back in my day. I only paid thirty-five dollars for this game. Thirty-five? How? Uh, my one of my buddies really wanted me to get the game, so he gave me half of it. Oh no, that's heat, bro. Uh, he's a better <laughs> friend than me. I was like, if you got the seventy, spend it, brother. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, damn, they pinched me on accident. That's sexual assault. Whoa! Oh, Newman, buddy, you're the guy that shot my body? That's tough. That guy's on the flank, easy read, XD, and by that I mean I fucking spawned here. I know you guys didn't ask for this spawn trap, but it's just the way things are out here in the streets. The streets of Embassy. They're actually sitting in corners. That's tough, bro. They're hiding from me. <laughs> Daddy tucks on the scene. They're afraid. Damn, I was trying to call in my airstrike, but air shit's too crowded or some shit. SAE inbound, boys. Did you call me? Who are you? What? I'm sorry. Airspace still too crowded. I severely doubt that, but I'm not gonna argue. Because it never ends well for me. Even with fast hands, I still got pissed on because I was reloading too slow. Reload faster. I tried. I even have the perk that does it. <laughs> yeah, you didn't try hard enough. Oh me, I Nate, look at the scoreboard and talk shit to me one more time. <laughs> hey man, listen, you're sweating too much, eye bro. Oh me, I'm barely sweating. I am barely Whoa. fucking trying. It's embassy. I have my brain a... turned off. <laughs> Sixty. On oh, embassy. Excuse me, sir, that better be the gameplay today. Seven Probably will seven. be, considering it's Embassy. I've never uploaded an Embassy gameplay to my channel. Yeah. <laughs> Shit sucks. <laughs> uh, hey, YouTube, um, like and subscribe to Why the Tuck posts every day. He's got Mad Gunny, and he'll kiss you because he's cool. And confirm he will kiss you. Hey, YouTube, what's up? It's your, it's your boy, Cornhead X. <laughs> 
coming at you live from Hot 97 Studio. <laughs> He's doing his best. He's Kanye West doing his Kanye best. Ha! Ah, dude, you can't say that. The Oof. Third Reich is gonna show up. <laughs> Shit. Not like this. <laughs> dude, imagine. Muffin, you still here? Sadly. Epic Rap Battles of History Part 4 with Hitler and Darth Vader with a feature from Kanye. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll work. Y'all spawning down here? Um, I don't think you are actually. Oh. You can't shoot bodies and let me drop 80 on Embassy. <laughs> you can't do that, man.